Hi, I'm Joe James. In this video, we're going to learn how to drop rows from a pandas data frame that has not a number in the row. So I'll show you a few different uh, tricks for this. So if we're going to start out with uh, importing NumPy and pandas, and then we're going to create a data frame, df equals pd.dataframe, and let's see, we'll, we'll use NumPy's random number generator to create a grid 12 by 3. So three columns and 12 rows of data. And I'll print that out. So this is what our data frame is going to look like. And you can see we have a random array of floating point values in our three different columns here. Now next what we want to do is, since these are all floating point values, we want to inject some not a numbers into this grid so that we have NANs to work with. NAN is a NumPy data type. So we're going to use pandas iloc, or integer location, to locate specific sections of the grid and then put not a number in it. So we'll see df.iloc and then square brackets. So let's see, what we're doing is from the very first row to the very last row, every other row. So two is the step argument. And then this is the column, column zero equals numpy.nan and then we're going to do exactly the same thing but for the other columns so let's see for the second column here column one and column two we'll do every third row we're going to change to not a number and for the last column we're going to do every fourth row that's not a number then we'll print out our data frame so our data frame now looks like this. It has looks like an assortment of not a numbers. Every other row is not a number in the zeroth column, every third row in the one column, and every fourth row in the second column here. And you can see that in row zero, all three of them are not a number. So now how do we drop rows from the data frame that have not a number in them? Okay, well what we do is just df dot drop in a drop in a and that's it so this is going to drop you see there's only four rows left this dropping any row that finds not a number anywhere in the data frame so that might be a little more aggressive than what you want but that's what it's doing right now so we can pass in some extra arguments to select only specific rows or whatever so let me show you how some of these work by the way you can add in here in place equals true if you want to save these changes. If you want those changes to persist in your data frame, you can just put in place equals true, but I didn't put that. So what happens is after we made this change, if we print out the data frame now, you can see the whole data frame is still there. We haven't actually deleted them. We just printed out the data frame without those rows. So in place equals true is your argument to actually persist these changes. I'm not going to I'm not going to use that for this little exercise we're doing. So df dot drop in a, and then we can pass in other arguments too. We might want to try saying, oh well, we only want to delete rows that have not a number for all columns. So how do we do that? There's a how argument, and pandas is right now. There's the default is any for this. That's the default any. In other words, if it finds not a number for any column in a row, it's going to delete that whole row. But we have an option of changing this to all. We can override the default. So we can set how equals to all. And in that case, it would only drop the first row, right? That's the only one that we have. See, row zero is the only one that's gone now. And it's keeping ones that have not a number for just one column or two columns. So that is one possible argument if you don't want to delete every row, you just want to delete the rows that have all not a numbers. Now another way you could reduce the number of uh, row cuts here is df.dropna. We could pass in a subset of the columns. So instead of looking at every column, maybe let's say we only look at subset equals, and then this is a list, so we could say uh, zero. So then What's going to do here is going to drop every other row, right? Zero row, two row, four row, six row, because only looking at column zero now. 
So that's another argument you can use. If you just want to look at a specific row, we can still see some in column one that have not a number, and oh, it looks like column two there are none. So those are different ways that you can uh, control how drop not a number works. You can use the subset argument, you can use the how argument, and then also you may want to use, if you want to persist the changes, in place equals true. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.